Good morning, guys. It is dark o'clock, but it's shortly going to be light o'clock. I'm up nice and early. I learned a valuable lesson. Do not park behind the wife on uh, Sunday when she's got to work. <laughs> so I'm up. Uh, I'm at a uh, different school site today, uh, just uh, southwest of the town I'm in, instead of uh, west of what I was yesterday. So anyway, uh, I have found a ring at the school before. Uh, I've detected it a couple of times, but uh, again, not with the CTX 3030. So hopefully we'll uh, get out there and find some silver coins today. Uh, I know I found a few older coins, so we should be good. Fingers crossed and maybe some gold rings. All right, guys. I got a cup of coffees to go here till it gets late o'clock. And I'll drink those down and uh, be all raring to go. All right, guys. I will see you out in the field. And hopefully we have something good today. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be another long one. I'm probably going to go till sunset, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. I will... Uh, while I'm waiting for the sun to come up here and get a little bit brighter, I just wanted to show you something here. Uh, when I talk about the uh, CTX 30, 30 Penny Finder, now what I'm about to show you is probably around four weeks worth of pennies, if that. Uh, a lot of them aren't even in here. It could be in my trash piles that I got in the back of my truck or at home already. And all the other silver change, everything's not in here. I've either used it for coffee money or it's sitting in another drawer over there. But uh, anyway, here is the uh, pennies. It's a big, pretty big pail full. Other than the odd few items up here that I've set aside, like this, the gun and marble and stuff, the odd uh, watch. But uh, most of this is uh, pennies or copper of some sort. Uh, yeah, so there's just the odd item in here that's not. I keep all the copper just to melt it down. There's the odd quarter in here and stuff, but mainly all uh, pennies for the most part. Uh, I, I actually I forgot to show this in one of my digs the other day. I was down by where that old mill was, and it's uh, got measurements on it. And I believe this is probably from a weigh scale at the mill for weighing. So it's probably a piece of it that uh, got broke out of the fire or something when they had it. And I didn't even realize that till now. I found this at a site. And I didn't even catch on. It's the back of a pocket watch. I didn't even notice that until I was going through the pennies here before I turned the camera on. Kind of cool. And then most of the other stuff you've seen. Uh, got this piece of pottery I pulled out yes the other day. Uh, I think everything else you've seen. Uh, rather large rifle casing. And I believe I found that yesterday at the school. I didn't have it on film. But that's... Uh, it's a big uh, cartridge for Ontario, so we don't have any uh, gun laws, so it's, well we have gun laws, so it's probably pretty old. And a small lock, just a few things that I found that I didn't put on the videos. Yeah, other than that, that's a lot of pennies, that's uh, you know a few inches deep going in there, so you know that's a pretty hefty pail. Oh, I bet you that's got to be 25 pounds of copper right there. So yeah, that'll be uh, fun to melt down. <laughs> I'll pull all the uh, Lizzie pennies or George pennies out of here first, of course. I won't melt those down. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to, I'll see. I don't know. I have a, I have a tough time partying with my finds. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that's about it for now. The sun uh, might be actually bright enough to get out there, so I might head out and start digging now. The time's looking good. All right. All see right. You at the well, next well, one more. One. I made bad. <laughs> I put this on uh, yesterday. I got this out of the school. I actually recorded it, and I forgot to put it on the uh, video last night. But this is a piece of lead, and it's kind of uh, cone shape. It's bigger at this end and smaller at that end, but it's been hit for sure, and it's kind of hollowed out in the inside. 
It's uh, I'm not too sure what it would have been if it's just a chunk of uh, miscellaneous lead or if it belonged to anything. If you guys know, it's uh, it's definitely got a weird shape to it. It's got some indentation here where it gets thicker and it's broken off at this end. Anyway, I don't know if it's just melted or I don't know, kind of odd. It just uh, if you guys guys know what that is, let me know. It's definitely lead though. It's got some weight and the coloration to it. So, all right, now I'm gonna head out. All right, oh. see you in a sec. I bet you somebody's not happy about this because this is not that old. It's uh, it looks very similar to my wife's Honda key, that well, our previous Honda. And uh, so we're looking probably 2006, 2007, up around there, maybe a little later. But uh, yeah, those were expensive keys. Uh, and I think it was over $400 and we quoted to get a new one because I actually broke mine. So yeah, <laughs> oh well, uh, I find a lot of keys. That's probably the newest one I've ever found. All right, guys, I'll hey, see you in a guys, bit. Hey, guys, I'm just uh, down at a spot here. I had like a 1212 signal. It's probably either a nickel or a pull tab. But uh, this infuriates me. I'm going to show you something. I'm not sure if you can make this out. But right here is a plug. Someone's been here, left their target in the hole. It's probably a pull tab because they would. why would they not pull it? You know, you, you, you dig the hole. Why don't, you, why don't you pull it out? Why do you throw it in your pouch and walk on? Why do you leave it in the ground? Uh, anyway, that just uh, irks me a little bit, but uh, I'll get in there and see what it is. If it's anything good, I'll let you know. But uh, man, guys, if you dig the hole, pull your trash out and move on. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, I got something here. I uh, don't have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's some horse tack or something. I don't know if you guys have any idea. It's just a iron bracket off it's a bracket or not very thick anyway if you guys know what it is let me know I have no clue uh, yeah it was a terrible signal I've dug it anyway just because the uh, signals haven't been that great so far I haven't got anything old everything's been pretty modern so I know I'm right next to an old farmhouse. I gotta run up the fence line to the far corner to where their backyards would be and hopefully there's something out in the field, but oh, probably this place probably been hit too hard already, but uh, I'll keep going. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I think I finally found something old. I did hit it with the shovel, but it's easy to bend back. It's made of copper. As long as I don't overwork it, it shouldn't crack. Anyway, I don't know if that's a shoe buckle or just some sort of other buckle. That's pretty cool. I think it might be a shoe buckle. Anyway, that's pretty, uh, at least I'm getting something old. I'm up in the uh, top corner where I was trying to get to, so hopefully something comes up soon. The signals are terrible. I don't know this ground, it's reading nails like there's stuff good. It's driving me insane. Digging like four miles deep holes just for a junk, really, nails. All right, so I'll see you soon. All right, uh, I'm back from way over in that far corner over my uh, left shoulder. You're right. Uh, man, that, I was back there, man. That put me almost in a bad mood, you know. I'm pretty patient, but that that corner just been, put me to my limits, man. <laughs> Any good signals I got were like real modern pennies or change. And the other good signals turned out to be pop cans or, or just garbage. I was like, oh, I was just losing it. <laughs> anyway, I just uh, dug a... I'm in the sorry. I'm in the soccer field now next to the school, and uh, I just pulled a uh, 1963 Lizzie penny out. So that's good. So anyway, yeah, there's uh, lots and lots of holes been dug around here. I just walked through like a bunch of them all in one spot. So some guys hit this pretty hard, but I'm still finding this good old stuff. So hopefully he didn't find anything else like the silver. <laughs> But anyway, it's a big, uh, big field, so I'm sure you didn't get everywhere. Obviously, you would have found this. But it was deep. This must have been uh, eight, nine inches deep, so that was good. All right, guys, I will see you at the next good thing hey I got. guys, get. so I changed locations there. I got uh, that school that I was at. I don't know, for, built in the 1960s. There's not much left there, that's for sure. No silver anyway. 
I'm uh, at another public school there. It's actually where I went to public school. And I'm parked way over there. And it's probably closer to my house walk than it would be to my truck right now. <laughs> and trust me, that sounds good the way my knee's feeling right now. Anyway, uh, where I am now along this section, going through here, up along this tree line, uh, I know I've detected here with my uh, Garrett, and I've run into a lot of uh, square nails. Somewhere in this stretch, I can't exactly remember where, but I'll find it. And uh, that just got me intrigued a little bit, and uh, thought I'd come down again with this machine here, and uh, maybe it's, it's better getting through all the junk than the Garrett. With the Garrett, you hear all the other junk, right? So this one here should be a lot better there if there's anything here to be found. All right, guys, I will turn you back on when I find something good. See you in a sec. Hey, I just found a Montreal Blanc pen, which would be uh, Quebec. That was kind of neat. I've actually been there. <laughs> Might have to hold on to that one. I didn't bring a souvenir with me. All right, guys, that's my first find out here. Uh, that rang uh, almost like a uh, large set wooded, so I was kind of excited there for a bit, but hey, always finding pins is cool. All right, see you in a sec. Hey, guys, I just dug, oh, let's see. That's what, uh, eight, nine, I'd say a foot, if not more. There's the hole there, kind of deep. And I pulled out this little tag. <laughs> It was such a weak signal. It says, uh, I think it says Floribun Lavender Princess, US patent number 1905. Now I might be in that area with the square nails now. <laughs> I was really hoping that was a coin. That was so far down. Oh, the hassle I went through just to get this thing. Still cool. I like anything with writing on it that you can get a date or something on it. That's always nice to get. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on for a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much longer I got left. My knee is just, it's its hurting. It's been hurting for about a week now and it's uh, swelled up twice the size of what it should be. So I should be taking it easy, but uh, there's not too many good days. I think actually this is the last nice day we're gonna have for a while. So, you know, hopefully this isn't it. Hopefully we can get out again, but uh, I'll see you at the next hole. Good afternoon guys. Yes, that's good afternoon. I did sleep in again today. Uh, I went home last night after yesterday's dig and man, I tried to start editing and I crashed large and I slept when like way almost into the afternoon today. I was just so done. Uh, I had a bad day yesterday. Every hole fought me. I, I had to dig deep for like pop cans and, and just garbage. It was just a terrible, terrible day. Oh, I don't know why I didn't leave those, those sites sooner and just go somewhere else, but it is what it is. I didn't get a whole lot. Uh, got a few little brass pieces there, a couple pieces from a clock, an old tag, and you know some kind of nice relics, but uh, no silvers or anything like that. But uh, today I just came down for a quick hunt. Uh, I know it's already after 12 o'clock, so I'm just going to go up uh, the old trail from the other side uh, along the tree line, the farm line, and uh, just maybe check in the campground here area near the entrance of this uh, conservation area. So, I'll be using the uh, CTX3030 uh, Penny Finder again today. Uh, I joke and laugh, uh, it is a silver magnet, uh, but unfortunately it's also a copper magnet. <laughs> Which is good when you're looking for the old coppers. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully I'll get some today and uh, we'll get some, at least some digging in. Uh, I still got to edit yesterday's video, so I don't know if I'm going to throw this in with it and just make her a double or... I don't know yet. I did a nice uh, time lapse of the sunset yesterday, so... Imagine you guys will either see it in this video or the previous video, but it uh, wasn't really a time lapse. I actually filled it in full video, so it's kind of nice. It's uh, all 1080i, and it turned out really, really well. I might even throw in, I took some screenshots while I was filming it. Just fantastic pictures, man. Usually when I do like that sunset, it doesn't come out this crisp and clean. It was, it, it turned out really, really well. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let me get out there. Let's see what we can do. I drank my coffee, didn't spill it this time, so that's all good. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you out there. Get some silvers. Well, I got my first find here. There it is. A uh, large hook of some sort. I don't know what it'd been used for. But uh, yeah, there's one relic. <laughs> Not that I'm looking for relics, but uh, there it is. I'm still, I'm just in the woods right now. So uh, it's kind of hard to pick up where the old trail was in this area that I'm in. 
So it's just a matter of going around and finding it. But all these trees right behind me and through here have all been uh, replanted years ago. So uh, I don't know what all would be in here. So anyway, that's number one. Let's keep going and I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hey, well, it looks like I found a uh, uh, copper. I don't know what it is. If you guys have any clue, let me know. I have no idea what that is. It uh, looks like it's hollow in that end. It's stuffed with dirt right now and it's sucked. Uh, I thought maybe it was a fitting, but that end's capped off. So I don't know, maybe a bell? That doesn't make any sense. Would it be a bell? I don't know. Anyway, you guys know, uh, let me know. It's uh, no markings on it uh, to just say what it is other than that's it. All right, guys. Whoa, geez. All right, guys, I'll uh, see you shortly. Uh, haven't really found much. I'm out of the woods now. I just come up. I'm going to move my truck up and uh, do the other side of the road there, the hill by the old house again, see if I have any luck out there. Probably not going to do right around the house because I've gone around that a lot. <laughs> haven't really found much. So, uh, all right, I'll keep going and I'll let you know what I find. Well, what I said to myself today, if I go out digging, I won't go on any steep hills. Yeah, you probably can't tell on camera, but this is a steep hill. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyway, I got another iron object here. No clue what it could be. Uh, let me know if you know what it is. It looks like it was definitely purpose made, but here it is. It's uh, I thought at first when I, cause I saw it like that, that it was a pipe or something like a for tobacco. But that's definitely not the case. It's got that tapered bottom like a nail, and then this eyelet up here. It's kind of like right in the middle of the hill, so I have no idea what it would be here if it was part of maybe a tractor or something. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know, let me know. Uh, that's about it for that. Another heavy object I can throw in my pouch. I still haven't had any luck finding anything. Uh, like I said, this hill that I'm on here is kind of in behind the old uh, White House that I was at the other day. And, uh, you know, I'm sure the kids or whatever would have been out here playing in the winter and the toboggans and stuff like that. So, all right, I'll keep looking and I'll let you know what I find. All right, guys, I'm uh, next to the uh, farmhouse <laughs> where I said I wasn't going to come. Uh, but anyway, I just uh, dug out a 1960. Oh, dropped it. A 1961 uh, Lizzie Penny, which is the uh, younger version of uh, Elizabeth. So yeah, there's still some old stuff out here, so let's uh, keep on going. It's starting to drizzle a little. I don't know if it's going to downpour or not, but uh, we'll see how long we can go through this little drizzle, and uh, then we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see you soon at the next one. All right, I got another find here. Nothing special. It's a pair of scissors, but... Uh, let me tell you, was that a difficult one to decide whether I was going to dig or not? <laughs> that was bouncing terrible, but I kept hitting that 1245, so I had to go for it. Anyway, there's another find. Uh, it's still trying to rain, but it's not raining hard, so we'll carry on. All right, see you soon, guys.